Hello, my name is Tam Duca. I'm a junior at Lambert High School. I'm competing in the Sustainability Challenge efforts to reduce food waste, and I am in level three. So here's my table of contents. Here's my evidence of project summary submission. And here's my SCCLA planning process. So what exactly is food waste? Well, food waste is food that is good quality and fit for consumption, but it's discarded before it spoils. So for example, milk getting thrown out on a spoiled day when it's still good enough to drink. The term waste of food is food that is not used for its intended purpose and can be managed in various ways through the food recovery hierarchy, such as uneaten prepared food or kitchen trimmings from restaurants. The food recovery hierarchy's main goal is to prevent and divert wasted food from ending up into a landfill. The top levels are the best ways to prevent and divert wasted food because they create the most benefits for the environment, society, and economy. So the food recovery hierarchy levels consist of the first one, which is source reduction, which is reducing the amount of food produced, which saves energy, money, and labor costs. The second level is feeding hungry people. There are millions of people who are suffering from food insecure families and communities every year or who are in starvation. So donating to people in need instead of letting that food go into landfills is so important for the human population. The third level is feeding animals. So feeding animals actually save farmers and companies a lot of money whenever you feed animals food scraps. And it's actually cheaper to feed animals food scraps than having them hauled to a landfill. Industrial uses. Converting wasted food into biofuel and bioproducts can power things, such as cars, for example. Composting. Composting improves soil health, enhances water retention in soils, and is a significant reduction in methane emissions because organic waste is the highest contributor to re re releasing methane emissions. And lastly, landfills. A wasted food does not meet any of this criteria for any of the other levels. This is the last resort. So some food waste statistics is that there's an average of 1.3 billion tons of food wasted globally every year. There's around seven plus billion people on earth and 690 million of them are in starvation. So if one fourth of that food waste can be saved, it can feed to almost 900 million people. And if all 1.3 billion tons of food can be saved, it can feed three billion people. So the United States alone actually wastes up to 30 to 40% of our food supply every year. And that food ends up in landfills where it generates methane, which is a toxic greenhouse gas that's 86 times more powerful than carbon dioxide. And food waste is over 7% of our greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere. So how will food waste impact our future? Well, food waste increases the amount of methane emissions in the atmosphere responsible for the greenhouse gases. And there will be a depletion of freshwater sources because 70% of the water that we use is for agriculture. And there will be an economic loss. Hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars are lost every year due to food waste. And an average of $218 billion are lost every year in just the United States alone. So some benefits of redu reducing waste of food is you're saving money. Organizations can actually claim tax benefits if you help prevent wasted food from ending up inside your trash and then get, getting sent to a landfill. Helping people. As I stated earlier, there are many people suffering in food insecure families and communities, those food desert areas. So if you contribute to society and give food away to organizations who will give food to people in need, you're not only benefiting the environment, but also the human population. And finally, conserving resources. So you're reducing methane emissions from landfills, you're saving many resources, and you're also returning vital nutrients to the soil. So one thing that you can do at home that's a very simple method to help reduce food waste is check your dates. So about 23% of food gets thrown out before it even reaches manufacturers and grocery stores. The best of used by dates indicates the quality of a product like cereal, whereas the used by dates indicates a highly perishable product such as seafood, for example. Over 80% of Americans prematurely toss food due to their misinterpretation of expiration dates. And supermarkets don't like to sell imperfect food because they want to keep a cosmopolitan cover, so they remove products from their shelves before their expiration date even hits. So here's a graph of foods most likely to be trashed before their expiration date. Breads and fruits are the highest. So a very simple way that you can help reduce food waste, not only in your home, but just in cities and in your community is hydroponics. 
And hydroponics is a system of agriculture without the use of soil, and instead uses a nutrient-rich water-based system. It allows people to grow food at any time of the year and anywhere. And that's higher yields with fewer resources. And it promotes local produce to buy locally because it's more fresh for you. It actually takes less time to grow. It matures 25% more quickly than soy growth plants because it's in controlled conditions. And most importantly, there's minimal to zero waste created because nutrients and water is constantly being recycled with using hydroponics. So at Lambert, we actually have a hydroponics garden. And our main goal was that we wanted to introduce communities and familiarize them with hydroponics produce and why it's so beneficial. We're producing leafy greens as of now, but we want to expand more in the future. And almost 100% of our food produced is good for consumption because it's in very con controlled conditions. So we have the knowledge of how exactly our produce is grown. And lastly, there is zero waste created because those nutrients and water keeps on being recycled. So for my first educational presentation, I had the honor to talk to Daniel Zhao and Rick Shee, which who are the co-presidents of Lambert Hydroponics. They were actually inspired by reading articles about soil degradation, and they, act, they asked themselves, how can hydroponics help solve this problem? Well, they want to use hydroponics because it saves water, energy, and it has very fast growth rates. So they informed me about the different types of hydroponics systems being used at Lambert to help produce quality produce at a very reasonable price. And in the future, they're wanting Lambert to become more environment, but environmentally sustainable. So they're actually hoping to install solar panels on the roof, and they're in the process of installing a hydroponic system in the culinary department. So here's a picture of the garden. So for my second educational presentation, it's Agro Eats. And Agro Eats is a cookbook that the culinary department helped team up with to create, which consists of different types of meals that you can make using hydroponically grown produce. And the ingredients are limited, and it's a very simple recipe to create because we want to target food desert areas and communities. So whenever the culinary department first sat down and started thinking about recipes to create for Agro Eats, a lot of students didn't know about what hydroponics even is and how beneficial it is to the environment. So as we would create recipes more and we start researching more about hydroponics, students started to realize how crucial it is to help reduce food waste and to help target food desert and food insecure families and communities. And here's an example of what a recipe looks like on the Agro Eats page. So for my third and final education, educational presentation, I did actually did a mock presentation where I present to my teacher about hydroponics. So she informed me about how food insecurity correlates with the use of and the, dis, the, the distribution of hydroponics produce. And she helped me connect my project of how hydroponics is so beneficial to help reduce food waste. So how can you make a hydroponics garden at home? Well, hydroponics works well in small spaces, and you can choose your adventure with what seedling you want to use, such as basil or lettuce. And there are multiple types of systems to choose from, some being very simple and some being very advanced. So a very simple and very cost-effective method to use for hydroponics, if you're interested, is the cracking method. And it's a deep water culture system, which is very simple to create. And here are the supplies in the assembling list li listed right here. And Rick Shi, the co-president of Lambert Hydroponics, actually created this lovely cracking method right here. And it is of a lettuce sprout. It just started sprouting. So you can see the very new growth rates in it. And this container right here, there's nothing in it at the moment, but it is actually used if you want to, um, if you want to, grow something more bigger, such as tomatoes, for example. So as these visual, visuals are represented here, I will be answering my evaluator's questions. So the first question is, what is one skill that you learned or improved upon during your project that you will use in school next year or in your future career? Well, I had to do this project alone, and I had to interview people for this project to gather crucial information and to develop my whole research plan. So I ended up interviewing a lot of people, and well, it helped me speak more in a professional manner while interviewing people, and to also help me improve my communication skills in life in general. The second question is what obstacles caused challenges in your work, and how did you address them? Well, some obstacles were mainly due to 
the interviews because I had to interview many people in a very specific amount of time with the time frame that I was given to create this project. So it was a lot of scheduling conflicts with who can interview on what day and who can do this and are you available on this day? So because of the amount of people that I want to interview, there was a lot of figuring out what days work best for me and also for that person. And that is my project. Thank you so much for listening.